What's going on, coders, and welcome to episode two of our document service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about how a Google document is structured. So on this slide, I have diagrammed a basic Google document, and as you can see, from top to bottom, that is what is considered a document according to Apps Script. So within that document, there are four main sections, and they are header, body, footnote, and footer. So why is this so important? Well, before you can change the data in this document, any of the data that's in this document, say that picture on the document, you first need to tell Apps Script where and which section is that data contained. So before you can say change that image, you would first have to tell Apps Script, okay, that image is in the body of the document. So first get access to the body of the document and then now you have the methods to change that image. Another example is, let's say you want to read the copyright on this document, you would have to first tell Apps Script that, hey, the copyright is contained within the footer, so first let me get access to the footer, and then now after that we can search for the text, say, copyright. So that is somewhat of a two-step thing. You can't just get a document and then start changing the data that's on that document. You first have to say which section of the data that you want to change um, on that document and then after you get that section, then you can start applying your methods. So let's look at the methods that we can use to get these sections. They are very self-explanatory indeed, and the top four methods that I have for this video are get body, get header, get footer, and get footnotes. So again, these are very simple, but just for completeness, let's jump into the code and look at these methods in action. Before we showcase these methods, let's first dive a little bit deeper into the structure of a Google document. So I have up here in my tabs the documentation for the Google Docs, and displayed right here I have the element hierarchy of all of the elements that you can put on a Google document. So first glance you can see that there are quite a bit, but uh, something that I want to emphasize is again the hierarchy aspect of this structure right here. So for example, let's say that we wanted to get the text uh, on, on our document and it is contained within the body, we'd have to move one step at a time down to get that text right here. So we would have to go from the getting the document to getting the body, and then after that we could get the paragraph, and then after that we could get the text that way. And there's no skipping steps. That's what I want to emphasize. You can't just get the uh, document first and then get the paragraph because there are there's a paragraph in the body, but then there's also a paragraph right here that's in the header. And then there's a paragraph, say, that's in the footer. So this is just the structure that you need to follow or you just need to think about when you're creating your programs in Apps Script. All right, guys, let's get back into the code and look at our methods. So the methods, again, are uh, they, they are accessed through the document, and that's what I have right here. It is the same document that was displayed on the, uh, the slides just a bit ago. But again, they are, it is, it is uh, cut into four different sections. It is the header right here. It is the body, which is all of this data. It's the footnote right here, and it is also the footer right there. So let's get each of those in the uh, code right here. So first I'm going to say logger log just so that we can see that this is indeed returning something. So these methods are accessible through a document class. So here is our document and let's hit the period button and first we'll say get header. So this is going to return for us the header section which is exactly uh, this right here. Again, it's not just on one page, it is on as many pages as we want, but this is going to be our header. So let's just uh, do that for uh, three more times. We'll do one for get header, one for get body, one for get foot notes, and I, I just want to emphasize this as well. This returns an array of the of footnotes, so it's not a footnote section like it is here. This is an array of all your footnotes. So if you had uh, more than one, or even if you had one, you'd need to first access which footnote you're talking about there. But let's just uh, leave it like that for now. All right, so then the last one is get footer. 
So if we save it and we run it, we'll view the logs. And we'll wait for the logs. But there should be four separate uh, entries, and here they are. It's the header section, the document body section, the footnote in an array, and a footer section. So actually, let me just do one more thing just to verify that this is all working. I'll comment these out just so that the program doesn't run too long. But I'll say doc.getHeader, and then I'll say something like get text, just so that we can be absolutely 100% sure that we're getting the right text. So it should return Weiss1. If we view our logs, we can see it does indeed return Weiss1. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that one and learned a lot about the document structure. Again, there are a lot of different elements that we will be covering in later episodes. But for now, just know the four main sections, which are the header, body, footnotes, and footer. Alright guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one.